Hey, what's up guys? It's Sev for Workbench, and today we're gonna to be doing displacement maps in cinema for After Effects. Today we're gonna to go over a few MoGraph setups to create mats for displacement in After Effects. Let's get started. I started out creating a cube and texturing it like I did in the previous tutorial. I'll put a link down below. Then I created a cloner cloning in Y, and then I took that cloner and stuck it inside of another cloner and cloned that in X. And then I took that cloner and stuck it in another cloner and cloned it in Z. Then I created a sound effector. The sound effector will look slightly different if you have anything under R19. It looks quite a bit different. They revamped it in R19. The sound effector works a lot like sound keys in After Effects. Uh, that's a Red Giant plugin, I believe. This one I have set up just to do rotations and I selected this frequency range here. Then I created another sound effector that goes down into the lower end frequency ranges and that one pushes everything back in the Z. Um, and I'll show you those parameters here. And I'm pushing it back in the Z and I'm doing a little bit of rotation. And that's what, this is what both of those. Then I created a plane effector, and this plane effector is just essentially breaking up a little bit of the uniformness. So next I created a random effector, and what the random effector is doing is just gonna do a little bit of a breakup. I'm actually not using transform at all. I'm just using weighted transform, and all that's doing is just randomizing the selections, I guess you could call it, of what the sound effectors are being used at. And I put that at the top of the effectors, so every subsequent effector is using randomization to affect the clones. So if I turn that on, you already automatically see that it just breaks this all up. And if I play that back, that's about it for this setup. Let's take a look at a different setup. Oh boy. This setup's a little more complicated, but it's based off the same idea. We're doing clones in, in a circular pattern. Um, this one here, just cloning in the Y, made like three clones. And then I'm taking those three clones and cloning them in a radial pattern, like that. Then I created a sound effector that does some Y movement and some scale. A uh, different sound effector that does, again, some Y movement and some scale, because I'm trying to bring them in and out. Then I did two plane effectors, one pushing in Y and one pushing in Z. And then I created a random effector like the previous time. Now I repeated this process, pushing them forward and backward in Z and doing a, you know slight adjustments. This particular cloner, I'm not doing a full circle. I'm just doing partial circle and I'm adjusting the offset on both of those. And if you don't know what that one, that does, let me show you real quick. Adjusting the offset and offset variation. And then obviously, of course, I'm using a sound, sound effectors and a random. I'm gonna show you a couple of renders of what this actually looks like. So here's what it looks like in After Effects. This is based on Joe's tutorial from last week, so I'm not gonna go too in depth in After Effects. Here's the raw mat, straight out of cinema. Then I took that and added a couple effects to it. I added a colorama and then a, f a fast box blur in the horizontal direction to break up the edges between the boxes. All right, here's the radial one we created. Let me show you what that mat looks like. So we did a couple things different here uh, in After Effects. Um, the raw mat 
looks essentially like this. Then I took that raw mat and created a couple copies of it, scaling each one slightly different and adding them to it. Then I created an adjustment layer with Colorama on it, and this time no blur. I created a gray solid over the top of the whole thing, and I used sound keys to animate the opacity of the gray solid. Now, if you don't have sound keys, you can animate the gray solids opacity manually to the beat of the snare drum. That's it. Here's how it looked. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. If you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and follow the blog at workbench.tv. I'm Sev. Catch you later.